Hello there everyone, I hope you are all doing great. In this video we will create this fire skull photo manipulation. So let's get started. <laughs> okay, let's first bring our main subject the skull. For now I will just place it here. Next I will need a ground. I can use this photo. Let's reposition it correctly. For the background, I need some fire and explosion photos. Normally what I did before making any tutorials, I created it first and tried different ideas then I created it again for the tutorial so that I can make the video smoothly. But in this case it's different. I'm making this photo manipulation for the first time. So I'll try different things and see what suits best. Okay, I will add other photos but for now it will work. It will give us an idea about how the background will look like. I'm gonna create a mask and remove the bottom areas. Now let's fix the head. I want to rotate it a bit. Press Ctrl or Command and T for free transform and then rotate it to the left. Right now it looks like it's floating. So we need to fix that too. If we remove some bottom areas that will help it look like it is on the ground. You can lower the opacity and follow the lines of those burning coals. That way it looks more realistic. See, even without adding any highlights or shadows, it kinda looks like it's actually there. Next I'm gonna add some blood. Probably it doesn't make any sense adding blood on fire because it will dry it out. But I'm gonna add it anyway. This is art. You can do whatever you want. I will use some blood brushes. You can find free blood brushes on brusheasy.com. I'll put some links in the description. Like I said before, I'm trying different things. Maybe I will change it later. Press Ctrl or Command and T for a free transform and select work. Bend it so that it doesn't look flat. You can also use liquify. I need to match the brightness, colors and saturation with the background. For that let's use curves. I need to make it darker and add some reds and yellows. Also I wanna make the eyes and nose darker. Create another curve and drag it down. Make sure we clip it. Now invert the mask by pressing Ctrl or Command and I. Now paint with white where you want it darker. Ok now let's add highlights and there will be a lot of highlights because you know it's on fire. Create another curve, drag it up to make it brighter, add some reds and yellows. Now invert the mask and gently paint with white in the edge areas. You need to add more highlights in the bottom areas because it is closer to the fire. What if I change the blend mode of the blood layer? Yeah that looks much better. I'll probably add more blood later. Ok let's group all the skull related layers to make things organized. Now we need to work with the background. I will make it bigger to fill up the canvas. Let's bring some other fire photos. Change the blend mode to a screen so that only the bright areas are visible. I'll copy this one and flip it. I'm gonna try some other photos and see if it fits. adding a war helmet here. What if if I place this helmet? They are dead so they don't need it anymore. I'll take it. I'll use the pen tool to make a selection. Let's use this helmet instead. I'll follow the same procedure as we did in our skull. I'm gonna remove the bottom part so that it looks like it is on the ground. How about I put a bullet hole here? Yep, much better. Also I added a gun here. I'm just trying different things. I even wanted to add a burning doll here. Actually at first I thought I will make a war image where you see dead bodies, helmets, rifles, dolls, things like that. But I ended up making this. If I post it on Instagram, I'll probably crop two sides. Talking about Instagram, make sure you follow us on Instagram. Ok now let's add some blur in the background. Finally I added some smokes, particles and then went to camera filter. I think some soft blur dreamy type of effect could be a good idea. Probably not. 
Okay, so I'll stop here. This is my final result. If I change anything, you will see it on Instagram. So make sure you follow us on Instagram. And don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching this video.